guys. So a few days ago I took a poll on my Instagram story asking you guys what you wanted to see on this week's video and it was between my five go-to hairstyles and my everyday makeup routine and the vote was really really close but you guys decided on my five go-to hairstyles so that's what I'm going to show you guys today, hence the title. So each of these hairstyles are super simple, they should only take like five minutes tops. And so my first hairstyle is very simple, it's just a French braid on the side of my head and even though it's really simple I get a lot of compliments on it and it's so easy and if you know how to French braid this is going to be right up your alley. So I part my hair on the side so then I get the side with less hair and I divide it into three pieces like a little French braid right here. So like that's one braid then I'll grab a little bit more hair like this, a little bit more on the side and just braid it straight back like this and I'll only add in hair like a French braid probably two or three times so it's not too much hair. Then after I have enough I just continue braiding it back like this. So it's a little French braid at the top and then the rest of it is just a normal braid and I don't put it on top of this hair but instead I lift up this extra hair that's on top and then I put it underneath and I like to put it really really high on my head. I lift up this hair and then I put this really high and then I just grab a bobby pin and I pin it up like that. So I'll normally do two and I crisscross the bobby pin so that it stays better or I'll hairspray my bobby pin so that stays better too and then so this hair will just lay on top of the bobby pins like this and so the french braid just kind of like disappears into your hair yeah and then I just poof up this little side right here if you want some extra volume you could like tease this hair right here and tease the hair that lays over top and if you also know how to dutch braid or a fishtail french braid I think that would look really pretty you can always like leave this half behind your shoulder like this and wear some big earrings like I'm wearing right now and you have a look. You gotta look guys. Okay, hairstyle number two is very simple as well. It's kind of like a top knot but a little bit different. So I'll grab half of my hair. It already fell out but I always bring my bangs down and bring these little pieces down, little baby hair. And then so you have a half pony like this and I have these little clear rubber bands so I'll just wrap it around like it's a ponytail one full time and then I'll twist it again and then instead of pulling my hair all the way through I'll stop after a little so that you have just like a little bun type thing right there and then I'll grab the top half of the bun and I'll just squeeze it tight like this. I think I need to... I'm just gonna tilt this up a little bit. Okay, there we go, that's better. So now you guys can see it. I'm a rookie. Okay, so I'll grab the top half of the bun and I'll just pull it up like this so that the bun goes higher up on my head. And I'll just kind of mess with it. I like to pull these pieces out so that it has a more messy look and it's not like pulling back on my head. And so then I have this cute little half bun. To spice it up a little bit, I've been loving bandanas and like ribbons in hair. So I got this little like ribbon thing. I don't know. It's kind of like a scarf, but it's a ribbon. And I got it from Nordstrom Rack for like $3. I like to like wrap it around the top of my bun and then turn it into like a loose little bow. And I probably wouldn't do this hairstyle with um, big earrings just because it's a lot on my head. But if you're just having like a plain shirt and want to spice it up a little bit. And I'll show you guys from the back too if you want to see. This is what it looks like from the back. It's just like a cute little bun and I really like it. So hairstyle number three is really simple too, but I always get compliments on this as well and I love doing this if I'm having like a lazy day and it's just kind of like a high messy ponytail. And so to do this I use scrunchies and if you guys don't have scrunchies yet, you need to get a scrunchie. I am obsessed with them. They are like a thin haired person's dream. I have super thin flat hair and I'm always looking for ways to get more volume and when I use a scrunchie, my ponytail is like amplified. It's like a, a sad little limp ponytail with a normal hair tie and then when I put a scrunchie in it's like this voluminous thing on my head and it's beautiful. So I start with my hair down then I just kind of lift it back up like it's going into a ponytail and I'll lift it about halfway up my head and make sure the bow's on top and then like this looks really bad it's just all kind of like suctioned onto my head and it doesn't look cute at all but have no fear there's hope I just pull out a lot of pieces I like to pull out pieces on the side like this and I also like to pull on this one on the top and then you grab onto the middle sections of the ponytail and you just pull it up like this kind of how we did with the half pony and I like to pull it really high I like high ponytails but then once it's up there I'll just kind of keep messing with it 
pull out some hairs around my face so that it just has a more messier look to it. And then I'll pull out some more pieces on the side and loosen it up so it's not suctioned onto my head. And then scrunch it up to the top some more. And see how like voluminous this is? If I was just doing this with a normal ponytail, my hair would just be like and this is what it looks like from the back. But I love the way that this looks if you're just kind of hanging out or if you're going to the gym and want to have a cute hairstyle or if you're wearing a scarf or something where you want to show off your neck, it's a good way to just kind of lift your hair off your neck. So for hairstyles numbers four and five, I think, I like to do with a hat on. I have my little cap here. Okay, so many of you guys have asked about this hairstyle and it's so simple. So I feel like you're all gonna be surprised when you see how I do it, but whatever. Normally I'll just grab a brush and kind of like tease it up a little bit so that it has some volume and is a little poofy. And then I'll divide my hair up into two sections. I literally just braid my hair, just like three pieces into a normal braid that's really loose like this. And I'll only braid about halfway, so there's still this much hair left, and I've only really braided that much. And I'll grab a clear little hair tie, and then I just grab parts of the braid and I pull them up like this. So see how it's like getting all wide and stuff? And then I'll grab the bottom of my hair underneath the hair tie and I'll just scrunch it up. And then I'll keep pulling it out until I like it. So I just scrunch it up like this. And then you have this big, poofy, messy braid thing. And I'll just pull out my front piece like this. And then I do the same thing on this side. And I'll do it into a really loose braid. And then I just start to pull out the pieces like this. And then I tighten it up and pull them out. So now you have these like super messy, knotted, poofy braids. And I just always wear these with a hat. I love these types of hats, wide brim hats, baseball hats, beanies, like any type of hat. And you can also do it without a hat. This is definitely my go-to, like number one go-to right now. So yeah, now you guys can do it too. Alright, and last but not least, hairstyle number five. This hairstyle is a little tricky, but it's really not hard, I promise, once you get the hang of it. So I grab my hair in kind of a low side pony like this, and then I have a hair tie. I wrap my hair tie around once, and then I wrap it around like a bun. So I kind of stop halfway, then twist my hair tie, and then grab the rest of the hair at the bottom, and I wrap it up into the bun like this, and then just kind of wrap it around the rest of my hair. So at the end you just kind of have, the, have this bun and there's a hair tie wrapped around the middle, like right here, there's just a random hair tie in there. Then you have these big chunks, like you have this chunk and this chunk. And so what I'll do, I'll just grab the chunks and kind of pull them and just stretch them out a little bit like this. It looks like a braided bun almost, I don't know what to call it. I made up this hairstyle in like seventh grade and it's just really done me well. So I'll just keep pulling on different pieces and then I'll also pull on these pieces too so that it gets kind of like loose into a loose messy bun. What I like to do a lot to make sure that it has volume and keeps volume throughout the day is that I grab a piece, so in this case I'll grab this piece out here. I'll pin it to the hair that's up here. Instead of leaving it down there, I'll lift it up and then I'll grab this bobby pin and I'll pin it so that it stays up like that. And so it's just kind of like a super easy, messy bun. Seriously, it looks like a prom style if I do it right sometimes, but it takes two minutes and it's just like the most simple hairstyle ever. So yeah, that's it for my five hairstyles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys haven't seen my hair curling tutorial, I'm gonna leave that down below. And I'll also leave links to my outfit. Oh, I almost forgot to say this too. If you guys liked any of these hairstyles, and you try them out, be sure to tag me on Instagram because I'm going to repost your pictures in my Instagram story. And I can't wait to see if you guys like these hairstyles. And so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I love you all so much.